against Miss Pete, committed to tearing her down at all costs, regardless of the truth. Since Mr. Peterson was indicted in 2020 for felony assault with a deadly weapon after shooting Megan Peep to his later conviction in December 2022, up through today, you've done Mr. Peterson's public bidding to denigrate, belittle, insult, and spread false and defamatory statements about Ms. Pete on your online platform for no other reason than to bully, harass, and punish Ms. Pete for Mr. Peterson's conviction and to tarnish her reputation, causing emotional distress. The plaintiff is aware of your conspiratorial relationship with Mr. Peterson and knows that you're a paid surrogate of Mr. Peterson. Your conduct has repeatedly confirmed this, hey? Indeed, you promoted the debunked theory that Mr. Peterson did not shoot the plaintiff when all of the evidence proved otherwise and your theory repeatedly debased. You described the plaintiff as a, quote, angry black woman and as a, quote, lying asshole. You accused her of having, quote, a severe drinking problem and asked who, quote, needs to spend more time in a relationship with herself and her therapist and maybe AA. You regularly enlist bot X accounts to attack and harass the plaintiff's fans and supporters whenever they challenge your false statements about the plaintiff. You even question the plaintiff's competency, asking your followers whether the plaintiff, quote, has a guardian or no, and whether the plaintiff has ever been deemed like legally retarded. <laughs> Excuse me. When the plaintiff asked how to get bloggers like you to stop making false and demeaning posts about her, you responded that the plaintiff should, quote, just get over it or go away. Your misconduct reached new heights earlier this year in June 2024 after you promoted a deep fake video featuring an artificially created image of Megan engaging in sexual acts without her knowledge or consent. Not only did you like a post that shared access to the video, but you shared the post on your ex account. You told ex users to quote, go to my likes so that they could see the video. Well, your actions violate Flo violated Florida law for the promotion of an altered sexual depiction. So where the fuck y'all found that at? Where in the fuck did they go and find that law at, bitch? They said, yes. So they can't blame me for making the video. But they said, you liked the post. But then you went and said, go to my likes. And by doing that, you, violate, you violated Florida law for the promotion of an altered sexual depiction. Megan lives in Florida. Oh, anyway, um... Let me see. Your latest grift involves spreading false and outlandish claims that the firearm that Mr. Peterson used to shoot Megan has gone missing. And you falsely suggested that because it went missing, that's why the firearm wasn't presented in court. Putting aside that the firearm was simply one piece and a mountain of evidence presented by the state against Mr. Peterson. Wait a minute. Yeah, I got so much to say about this and can't say nothing. Putting aside that the firearm was simply one piece in a mountain of evidence. What mountain of evidence? You want me to set aside the weapon and the paperwork that says it went missing verbatim? Hello? Putting aside that the firearm was simply one piece in a mountain of evidence presented by the state against Daystar, which resulted in a unanimous guilty conviction beyond reasonable doubt, there is simply no basis in truth or fact for your patent patently false claims. Indeed, the firearm remains in custody of the Los Angeles Police Department, the truth of which you recklessly disregarded in perpetuating this lie. Nothing prevents Mr. Peterson or his lawyers from testing the firearm. Tellingly, you waited mere days before Mrs. Pete's planned documentary release to the public to spin your latest web of lies by amplifying the falsehood that the firearm is missing when it's not. Ms. Pete is confident that the California Appellate Court will deny Mr. Peterson's appeal and writ. Why are you telling me that? Through this letter, we're putting you on notice of the claims and procedures for preserving and retaining potentially relevant information. The civil claims filed against you include, but are not limited to, promotion of an altered sexual depiction, cyber stalking, intentional infliction of emotional distress, Invasion of privacy, isn't that ironic? And then, like, as a caveat off of invasion of privacy, 
false light, and injunctive relief for your campaign of harassment against Ms. Pete. Ms. Pete reserves the right to amend her complaint to include additional causes of action based on your misconduct, such as defamation. So they said the procedures described below are um, the directives that must be followed. So this is what they want me to do. They want me to get all letters, files, emails, spreadsheets, presentations, voicemails, text messages, instant messages, anything like that. Audio tapes, recordings, calendars, pictures, anything. They want that between me and who else? They said they want me to, they want all communications regarding Megan, but not limited to drafts and final published posts appearing on blog sites, um, on social media platforms. So access to station head, I guess those are up access to YouTube videos. Okay. Uh, and then what else blog sites? I don't send shit to the blogs to post never have. So just shit that was posted online. Okay. They want communications between me and day day. They want communications between me and Sunstar. They want communications between me and Kelsey. They want communications between me and Jaquan. They want communications between me and academics. They also want any documents exchanged between me and his attorneys. Anything between me and Sean Holly, anything between me and George, anything between me and Jose, or anything between me and Crystal. They said all documents sufficient to show recordings of episodes from your podcast titled Mob Radio and Megan Pete, they start Peterson in the case. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's it, basically. And everything else after that is, um, they say don't delete anything and we want copies of it. Then at the end, the third bullet is duration. As the claims of this potential civil action progress, changes in circumstances may require future modification or expansion of the categories of documents to be retained. It's important that you do not destroy or discard any potentially responsive documents until you're informed that the hold is no longer in effect. If you have any questions regarding this notice, please contact Alex Spiro or someone else that was listed. And this was signed by Alex Spiro. <sighs> Y'all are slow. And what I have to say, and I have to watch my words, of course, and then you just deal with it in court. But what I have to say is y'all have spent so much time convincing yourself of something that you are about to make a damn fool of yourself. And I laugh at you. I laugh at you. And I'm literally waiting for every blog to mark me as a paid surrogate that was enlisted by him to run a campaign. I am literally waiting so that that can be added to a countersuit that you will be getting. That's psychotic. But she has convinced herself and they have convinced themselves that money has been spent for me to say this and say that and do this and do that. And yeah, you getting paid and yeah. And y'all about to look so stupid. They want all communications between... Bitch, I could give it to them. I, I want y'all to see the communications. <laughs> I want y'all to see the communications. Let me let me say this to you, though. Let me give you a little bit of tea. Hold on. I'm going back to my email. And good luck with this. Me too. <laughs> well, hold on. Let me let me make this easy for y'all. I've never in my life spoken to Sean Holly in any form or fashion. There's nothing. I've never in my life spoken to George Medeskin except for in person. Hey, how you doing? There's nothing. I've never spoken to Jose Baez. There's nothing. I've never spoken to Crystal Morgan outside of in person. There's nothing. Um, me and Livingston Allen. We ain't discuss shit. I've talked to him, yes, but ain't nothing there. I've never spoken to Jaquan privately. I've had a DM conversation with Kelsey. I showed it to you. That's literally it. Sunstar, y'all can see all of that. Daystar, y'all can see that. Literally. When I tell you there's nothing to be found and y'all about to look so fucking stupid because you had literally convinced yourself that that man was paying me, babe, no one from that family, no one associated with Daystar has ever sent me two cents, ever. You can comb through whatever you want to. Never. 
Never. But that's okay. It'll come out. <laughs> Y'all are so stupid. They didn't set up and really thought, oh, we got to because we know that they paying. And we know that this and that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, calling me a paid mole is crazy. It's crazy. Crazy. That's defamation in itself, isn't it? Right? You're right. And then anything that I said, we can talk about where I got that from. Sure. Mm-hmm. So I'm pretty sure, and this is just me using context clues, I'm pretty sure, and, and anything about bots, I've never paid or instructed or until there's nothing there. Like, all this shit is stupid. And then the you told them to go to my likes. Okay. Anyway, so um, the reason why I believe that academics is going to get a lawsuit as well is because they mentioned him here. Why would you want my correspondence with academics if you didn't intend on challenging academics? So I'm pretty sure that I got this and that an academics got one as well. And I think that that would really be it. Because if they thought that we were networking, then they would want the communications between me and said people that they thought I was networking with. So they literally only want to know outside of people associated with the case what me and academics have talked about because they believe that we were in cahoots of sorts. So I would venture out to say that me and academics are the two people that'll get this lawsuit. No, um, the crystal that was listed, to be very clear, is Crystal Morgan. Crystal Morgan is the name of the uh, one of the attorneys over there. Not Crystal Nicole. Not Crystal Nicole. And then they gonna sit up here and say, you waited mere days before her planned documentary to release to the public the latest spin of your web of lies. They act like I filed the paperwork. Like, how y'all, <laughs> these people are crazy. Tom. Right, that's when the writ got released. So, okay. So when I say crazy, y'all really let this girl run to y'all and say anything. Like saying, you described her as an angry black woman. So? And a quote, lying ass hoe. So? You accused her of having a severe drinking problem. Has anybody seen the first episode of Hot? Megan said she had a drinking problem. So much so that she had to get new friends. Because no one was telling her to stop drinking. What the fuck are you talking about? I've seen her drinking liquor through a straw. Drive the boat, which was about giving people liquor. I've seen people, Coy Leray, passed out after hanging out with her. An ex-boyfriend said he got a glove box full of BC powders. EJ said when she gets drunk, she get loose, loose and loco. Yeah, I've, I've implied that she had a drinking problem. That's what it seems like to me. What does it look like to you? I don't know. You regularly enlist bots? What bots? Prove it. Another lie. You question if she had a guardian. No, I was told by a verified close friend of hers that she had a guardian. And I questioned if she was competent only after I was told that she had a guardian. 
hot girl Chelsea told me that she was that T. Ferris was her guardian and that she didn't appreciate rumors that sounded like she was sleeping with them. Babe, did y'all really take y'all time and go through this? And then anything about the gun being missing, that's in actual court documents. So, okay. And then what else? Cyber stalking? How so? How so? You have to prove these things. Of invasion of privacy. And all of this is off the back of Right, how do you cyber stalk a celebrity? All of this is off the back of what? Of the idea that I'm being paid to run a campaign. So if that's not even accurate, then what campaign and what orchestrated effort? See, the way that that, that they try to make that cyber stalking is by saying that you're getting paid and y'all are sitting up planning to affect her career this way. So you're now, that's outside of the realm of blogging. Well, that's not true. So you can't make it that. And you're slandering me. And you're defaming me. Yeah, that's what happened. So, um, I know that a lot of people busted a nut today because they thought the sky was going to fall when this happened. They've been waiting for years for Megan to sue me. Well, Megan is finally suing me. And child, I'm going to get up and finish packing for Camp Mob. <laughs>